Hey there guys, it's uh, Philly here at Fidelity Factory. Find me on Twitter at PowerPhil1. And today I'm just going to go through the act of, let's say, sending uh, information from one Power Automate to another Power Automate using a HTTP request. Uh, sometimes it can be just something that crops up that you need to do. For me at one point, it was that I had multiple flows that kind of ran the same action. They sent out an invoice and um, sent an email. So instead of, let's say, duplicating that, that action, I made a new flow with those common actions in there and called it from my other flows. So straight away here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up my parent flow, which I have here. I've called it demo HTTP request parent. And this is the flow where, let's say, we'd be getting in information from maybe a... Uh, power app or something like that so right now i've just got so i'm going to manually tri trigger it i've initialized a variable called var info i've just said it's value it's a string and i've just said it to this is information i want to send to another flow so when i want to send it to another flow what i do is uh using a http request is i use this connector here http and it is important to notice uh that it's a premium connector so that will affect um let's say your licensing and things, that's something to keep in mind. But in this case, I want to send information from this flow to another flow. I want to send that information in. So under method, I'm going to select post. And under URL, I'll need to get URL from the, from the other flow I'm sending it to. But right now, I'm just going to insert the body here. Yeah, and I'm going to put in that uh, variable var info. That's all I'm going to do with this flow for now. I'm actually going to duplicate this tab and make a new flow. I'm going to make the flow where I'm going to, let's say, grab all that information out of. Um, so I'm going to send information from that flow we were just looking at. And I'm going to get it in this new flow I'm going to make here. So I'm going to make a new Power Automate, let's say instant from blank. And this one I'm going to get, I think I can select, yeah, when a HTTP request is received. I can actually select it here as I'm making it. Um, I'm going to call this demo. And this is HTTP, and it's this is going to be the child flow because it's receiving information from that other flow. I'm going to select when a HTTP request is received. So I'm going to create this flow, and this flow will do some stuff in a bit. But right now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I'm going to put in two curly braces there. I'm going to save this item need to add in one more new item. So after this, what I was going to do is maybe uh, email some of that information to myself. So I might add in this here. So let's see. Hopefully my email pops up. Perfect. And I'm just going to put in test for now. And some random information for now. So now when I save this, I haven't done a whole lot with it, but now when I save it, I now get this HTTP post URL up here. This wasn't filled in. It doesn't fill in until you save. And I'm going to copy that. And that is what I'm going to put in back to my parent flow. I'm going to return to my parent flow. That's what I put in under here, URL. So I'm going to enter my URL and paste that in. So this is what tells me, okay, I am sending this to this flow and my child flow is actually looking out for that call and receive it so now i'm going to save this and now when i run this flow it should send my var info over to my child flow over here i'm going to save this one again we'll see what happens we're going to get a failure on this one because we haven't actually really anything set up maybe we won't get a failure but it's not really set up to do anything but let's kick this one off to begin with so test I'll perform the trigger action. Let's just run this flow and see what happens. It done and it ran successfully. So it would have run through all these. It kicked off. It set my var variable as my var info as this information I want to send to another flow. And it sent out my HTTP request. So let's see if my child flow has run because it should have gotten called. And we can see here our test succeeded 22 seconds ago. So 
this received the call oh, and we can see the information here and everything so right now I could maybe go back in here and edit this and let's say add a new st I can actually take the body of what was sent to me and now hopefully I'm going to get an email with that uh, with that information that gets sent over so then now I'm going to get that bit of text that we send over here that we initialize over here so I'm going to maybe run this again and let's see what happens and I'll check my email and see if we actually get it so I'm going to hop back out of this flow so I'm going to set off my parent flow again so let's run this done refresh looks like it succeeded my parent flow and let's open up an email here and see if we can forgetting what we're supposed to be getting so you can see up here I am actually after getting exactly what I wanted I got that email at 2 219 comes with the title of test but it's also getting this bit of information this is information I want to send to another flow so that's how you send information from let's say one flow to another let's just go go over quickly uh, one more time just to recap you're gonna have a parent flow and let's look at it and in the parent flow you do whatever you need to do gather together all the information you want to send over to the child flow and open up this HTTP connector you're going to say post because you're going to I always think about that I'm going to post it to another flow and put in this body whatever you want to send over in the child flow all you need to do is set off the trigger include the trigger that is when a HTTP request is received and when you save it you're going to get this bit of information here this little um, kind of a uh, direction for it to go copy that and go back to your parent flow put that in for URL that tells it where where you where it wants to send that information and then you're going to get this and it's going to be usable as the body of that you can maybe parse it out in different ways for now that's all I wanted to show you how to send information between flows using a HTTP request find me at PowerPhil1 on Twitter and if uh, this was helpful let us know